Hello one and all, my name is Rio and welcome to Chester FC Digest Season 2, Episode 2. So, as I said in my first match day vlog of the brand new season back on Saturday, I am now going to be doing my Chester FC Digest videos every other Wednesday. So, I will still do my videos every two weeks, albeit on a Wednesday now, because, of course, with the football season now back underway for pre-season, Season, I will be doing my match day vlogs on a weekend, so I just decided that I will do my digest videos midweek to space my schedule out a little bit more. So, anyway, today's video will still be similar to my previous ones, as I will be talking about the latest Chester FC transfer news, an update on our pre season schedule, plus much more. So, of course, I hope you all enjoy today's video. If so, please like, subscribe, and also comment down below. So, without further ado, let's get into today's Chester FC Digest Season 2, Episode 2, right now. Enjoy! <laughs> My first piece of Chester FC news for today is that last Wednesday, Chester FC's pre-season friendly away at Trafford scheduled for Saturday the 22nd of August, which basically was a week on Saturday, was cancelled for good because our season is now going to start on Saturday, October the 3rd. So it is pointless basically starting off pre-season with uh, just under two months to go, otherwise we might be a bit tired already. So I do anticipate our pre-season schedule will hopefully start at the beginning of September, so hopefully we will hear more updates in due course. But anyway, just for confirmation, our pre-season friendly away at Trafford, scheduled for Saturday, August the 22nd, has been cancelled. <laughs> I have a few pieces of transfer news to talk about today. So, first of all, last Monday, centre midfielder Scott Burton departed Chester FC. So, overall, I am really pleased we will be reshuffling our midfield because we do need to build it around George Glendon by recruiting a couple of younger players who are physical and also quite tall. As much as Scott Burton cared about our club and gave it his all whenever he played, he just wasn't good enough from the beginning, as by the occasional outstanding performance against the likes of Hereford FC and also AFC Telford United, he was often a passenger in most games. Of course, his lack of consistency wasn't aided by the uh, couple of unfortunate injuries he picked up and the fact he was a one-footed player, but on the whole, he turned out to be a major disappointment as he failed to live up to his high expectations. Anyway, regardless of that, I would like to wish Scott all the best for the rest of his career because I still think he can do a decent job, maybe a level or two below us because he is getting on now, I think he's about 33, so I still think he can do a decent job below our level, but yeah, I would like to wish him well because I know he wasn't the best of players for us, but he still cares about our club, which is what I like about him, so all the best Scott and you are welcome back at Chester FC anytime. <laughs> Meanwhile, centre midfielder Gary Stopforth also departed Chester FC last Monday. So, as much as I am really gutted to see Gary leave, our managers have again made the correct decision for him to go, as he was the shadow of his former self last season. However, with that being said though, there is no doubt that he was sensational for us two seasons ago as he deservedly won our player of the year and had he not picked up that really unfortunate injury before Christmas, I am sure he would have carried on his fantastic form until the end of the campaign. So G Stop unfortunately just wasn't able to emulate that form last season as he failed to maintain those levels of consistency which made it a really frustrating campaign for him. 
Hence, our managers have again made the right decision because I wouldn't want him to stay here just to be inconsistent again. And he is approaching his mid-30s now, so we must look for young and also fresher blood. Uh, I would love Tom Crawford to come here, by the way. However, would he come back here? No chance, especially with the likes of Hartley Poor United and also Chesterfield also looking at him and also AFC filed with all of their money too. So I would absolutely love Tom Crawford to come here. I think he would be the answer for the perfect midfield partner with George Glendon because I do believe he is a really young physical player and also a ball winner too who has also National League experience with Notts County. But I can't see him coming here. I would love him too but I just can't see it really. So anyway, hopefully we will get a decent replacement for both Scott Burton and also Gary Stopforth. So anyway, I would like to wish Gary all the best for the rest of his career because again, he is a nice lad who cared about our club. Finally, left-back Matty Waters departed Chester FC last Friday, so again, really, really gutted to see Matty leave us, and even more gutted than Scott Burton and Gary Stopforth's departures, because uh, I really liked Matty, but however, I absolutely can't blame his decision, because he 100% needs to be playing week in, week out, rather than just being a bench warmer, which would get him nowhere in his life. So in his first couple of years here at Chester, he was really raw, but I would say over the past couple of seasons, he gradually improved and always looked really strong on the occasions he was brought into our side. It is just a pity though that despite Matty always looking promising in the small amount of appearances he made, he couldn't gain a regular foothold into our side as he was second string to Joel Taylor who has been quality for us thus far. To be honest, uh, this is a really similar situation to the Matty Thompson one as whenever Matty Thompson played he always impressed and also caught the eye although unfortunately for him he was behind both Kevin Roberts and even Jamie Morgan in our uh, right back pecking order. There is no doubt that Waters is a really good prospect for the future with great potential and I really do feel that he will excel if he does improve the defensive side of his game along with regular football. So he is more than good enough for our level so I do hope he does stick around our league especially with Curzon Ashton and also Hereford FC chasing his signature and I do believe Curzon are the front runners and also Curzon are also looking at Matty Thompson as well so if true then they would be excellent signings for Curzon who uh, have made some decent business in the uh, transfer window so far so uh, once again I would like to wish Matty all the best for the future as he has been a fantastic servant for Chester uh, with him graduating through our youth academy a few years ago and who knows we may even cross paths once again in the future so good luck for the rest of your career Matty and again you are more than welcome at Chester FC any day. <laughs> So this does conclude Season 2, Episode 2 of Chester FC Digest. So join me two weeks today where hopefully I will bring out Season 2, Episode 3 because I do believe hopefully tomorrow and Friday we are expected to make a few announcements regarding some contract extensions. So hopefully there will be a lot of movement on the transfer front over the next week or so because we are crying out for a bit of news to get the optimism back up and running so hopefully episode three of season two will be a busy one in two weeks time and also don't forget I also hope to go on another ground hop on Saturday to take in another local friendly hopefully a little bit more local than Stafford on Saturday but we will just have to wait and see because so far I am yet to decide where I will be going but stay tuned for further updates and also if I do go to a game then once again I will definitely be doing another match day vlog so again look out for another video so 
Of course, I hope you all enjoyed today's Chester FC Digest Season 2, Episode 2. And also, don't forget, my next one will be out two weeks today. And also, a match day vlog will be out on Sunday, hopefully. So, if so, please like, subscribe, and also comment down below. And also, stay safe too. Yeah,